Hello everyone. In this course, I'm going to be teaching you the C programming language from beginning all the way to high intermediate. By the end of this course, you will have the knowledge of an entry-level C programmer being able to compile C code in Linux and write code that is practical. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to get started with the C programming language. Okay, so the first thing you need is a Linux operating system for this particular course and you can uh, get the windows subsystem for linux from the microsoft store okay and the next thing you need is a compiler and in this course i'm going to be using the gcc compiler okay so let's go ahead and install that Okay, so let's go ahead and confirm that GCC was installed. GCC dash V. Okay, we've confirmed that GCC was installed. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is write a basic C code, compile it, and run it. Okay, so let's use the VI editor and call it first C code. Dot C. Okay, let's go ahead and now begin. So, when you are writing a C code, there are some things that you need. So, the first thing is a header file that you will always need for the very basic programs. It's the um, input and output file. Okay, and the next thing you need is your main function. So type int main. You need these brackets. And then the next thing I'm going to do is print hello world. Okay, so um, now I have a, a lot of options. I'm going to be using the print f function. hello world and then the new line character and then the semicolon okay and then the next thing i'm going to do is um return zero okay so this is a very basic c program and now let me explain to you what each of these mean okay so the stdio.h is the standard input and output file it allows the program to function and here is our main function and all of your code will work through this function okay so you, you see the int it basically means that this function will return an integer in this case this function returns a zero the return zero basically returns zero to the operating system and it indicates the end of the program and here the printf statement basically just prints hello world to the terminal and a new line character what it does is that it adds a new line that's all it does okay so now let's go ahead and save this and compile it and run it okay and then let's do gcc first c code.c dash o i'm just gonna write my code Okay, if I, I'm going to do ls to see the code that we have. So here is our text file, the .c. The .c is essentially a text file because we can't read it. However, this is the binary code. Okay, you can't read it. It's executable. If I do a cat on my code, it won't make any sense to you because only the computer can read it. Humans can't read it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run it. So you run it like this and that's it that's all this program does when you run it it prints hello world to the terminal okay so that's all you need to know for this video in the next video we are going to explore more topics such as variables and things like that and 
getting input from the user so it's going to be really interesting but for now this is all you need for this first video okay so i hope you learned something useful in this video please like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching